everybody, I'm Tom Vassell. Welcome to another review of a shelf in the Dice Tower Library. Today we're taking a look at Shelf 10C. And if you remember, if you've been following along, Shelf 10 is my welcoming game shelf. And so you'll notice a lot of games here for folks who are new to the hobby, although folks who are in the hobby a lot can love playing these games too. Here we start with Forbidden Desert. Forbidden Desert, and of course right next to it, Forbidden Island. Forbidden Skies isn't here because it's terrible compared to these two. But Forbidden Desert is a great game in which you are in the desert trying to find pieces of an ancient mysterious flying machine to get out. Um, it's a lot of fun, and it's a little bit more gamery than Forbidden Island. Forbidden Island, there's an island sinking, um, and you are trying to get to a helicopter to get off it. They're very similar games in many ways, but they both feel different, and I think they're both fun. Sagrada, I got two copies here. This is a dice placement game, although this is definitely, if I find another game to take the space, it's going to go down to one copy because I haven't seen it being played tremendously much. Um, but it is a lot of fun uh, as you build these stained glass windows. It has a cool theme to it. Next to it's Reef, which is criminally underplayed because Reef is a fantastic game from Emerson. Um, I think it's better than, for example, the next five games, which all have the word Azul in them. Reef is a, put out different parts of a reef, play a card, score points. Very simple. A great game. Then we get to the Azuls, and so you see I have two of the first one, one of the second, and two of the third, and that's just, I don't know why that worked out that way, and it's kind of odd because my favorite is the one we only have one of. Now, these are definitely going to go down to one each after a while, especially considering there's a new Azul coming out soon, so there's only going to be so much room here, but each of the Azuls, so the first one, which is the classic and is many people's favorite about tiling. Um, works really well. When it came out, it was kind of a phenomenon, sold a lot, still sells well. The second one, like I said, is my favorite of the... Actually, that's the third one. The second one I do have two copies of. I'm doing these backwards. The, the, the middle one is, is the third one. Summer Pavilion, it doesn't have square tiles, and now they are parallelograms um, or rhombi. But uh, the scoring in this one's good. I think I would rank this higher than the first one, but not as high as the second one. The second one, the meanest one, there's two copies there, is about building stained glass windows. Two stained glass windows on the same shelf. All right, then we have next one. You see this little tiny game there called King Domino? Yeah, that game won the Shabbat Yards, and it's huge. And in fact, elsewhere in the library, I have a big copy of its uh, sibling, Queen Domino. But King Domino works really well, very simple and easy to get into. Then Carcassonne. Now, this is an interesting thing for me. There's so many Carcassones that are out there, and yet I don't have most of them in the library. Um, I, there's, I have a big box of Carcassonne for those who want all the expansions, but uh, I just haven't been collecting all the Carcassones. I might put them in here, but I don't see them all getting played either. So what do we have here? Well, first of all, we have Carcassonne Hunters and Gatherers. That's the first one there next to King Domino. This one is a classic from back in the day. I didn't like it as much as the original Carcassonne, but as time has gone by, I've enjoyed it more. Next to that's Base Carcassonne, also known as Vanilla Carcassonne. Now this one's fine. Uh, you just I keep it in here mostly so I can play with the big giant Carcassonne maps, which are fantastic. Then next to that's a wooden box. That's Carcassonne the City. That's the best of all the Carcassones. Now honestly, this would probably work better in a box instead of that wooden box, and in fact, Later versions do come in a box, and someday I may switch them out. But this one has walls. If you've never played Carcassonne City, it is the best one. You should check it out. Then we have Carcassonne Safari, which I've never actually played, but I heard is good. It also has animals, and anything with animals is automatically better. And then Carcassonne Star Wars, which is one of the dumbest crossovers that has ever existed in board game dumb. Think about this. Carcassonne, the French city, also Star Wars. It makes no sense, and that's why it's in our library. Because I know people are going to walk by and go, what? And put it together. I've never played it because I'm, um, you know, I got some standards here. Anyhow, I'm sure that people will like it, and it's fun. So those are all the games on this shelf. It's definitely a Carcassonne Azul shelf. My favorite game on this shelf, pretty easy, right there. It's Reef. What's your favorite? Let me know in the comments. Until next time, I'm Tom Vassell, and you've been taking another look at a shelf in the Dice Tower Library. <laughs>